Okay, it's the Coleman Hooligan 4. Uh, just finished waterproofing it. I have taken the lines off that they were provided and replaced it with Night Eyes Reflective Cording. They, uh, Coleman is guilty of a little bit of false advertising because this is not a one pole tent setup. It has four in it. One, two, three, four. So you got this pole here for the front of the fly, two in the center because it's a dome, and then there's this little window back here. The overall footprint of this tent with it stretched out with its lines on it is incredibly big. Inside of the tent, my finger. It's an extremely large tent for the Hooligan 4. I found nobody online really said anything about this tent. It differs from its buddies, from its little brothers, in that it uses so many more poles than the others. This is, I just finished waterproofing it, so it's got a little bit of stuff left on it. I used 303 waterproofer because I don't trust the waterproofing that comes on new tents. It's basically garbage. My intention with this tent is to replace the crappy poles that came with it with tent pole technologies. Pardon me while I... Got a real nice buckle down here. The vestibule has Velcro and then you can open up the vestibule to see inside. Really, really nice and spacious for the four. I'll do some more videos in a little while. I'm waiting for it to dry, so I really can't open this up. The manufacturer recommends you leave it set up for six hours after waterproofing it. So, there it is. Coleman Hooligan 4 to give you an idea how big it is. That is a 14 foot John boat. That is the Hooligan 4. Again, 14 foot John boat. Put it in the background, I guess. Now we're looking at the Hooligan 4 right there. So far, I'm pretty pleased with it. This is the first time I set it up. Kept it in the bag. I've been modifying it. Modifying it the way he's like changing the crappy lines out on it. I got some MSR tent stakes for it. So far, it's proven to be a good investment for $80 shipped. Everything seems to be built very solid. Minus the poles. The poles are garbage. I'm going to replace the poles. It's worth the $100 investment to replace the poles. Enough said for now.